Welcome to another episode in the 23 part collection. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days. Today, we are looking at the most savage Michael Jordan stories on when he absolutely destroyed his opponents and the trash talking stories that happened even before the game had even started. These stories are insane, hilarious and funny and they're told by NBA legends that were involved on these days. So without further ado, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. The one thing I'd love for you to do is hit that like button. These videos take a long, long, long time to edit so I'd really appreciate it. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more MJ videos coming to you in December. And there is a full playlist below in the description and on the top right of your screen. And if you click on that playlist, you'll find all the MJ videos that have been made so far. Full video links and credits are on the screen right now and in the description box as well if you want to watch the full interviews and clips in their entirety. But I don't want to keep you waiting. So welcome to the day that MJ told Byron Scott he was going to drop 50 before the game. And the day that MJ told Chris Webber to not even try because he's going to go out and score 50 as well. These stories are insane and I can't wait for you to watch them. Enjoy. But Jordan didn't talk until it was a big moment. So during the early part of a game, he wouldn't say anything? Oh, no, Jordan would talk. Is any Jordan stories that, that come to mind for you? You know what? One time, and it's not even talking, one time we played the Bulls and we're in the playoffs. We get off the bus. Jordan parks inside his Ferrari before the game. And uh, Juwan and Jordan are cool. Juwan was from Chicago. We could play against uh, Jordan in the summer, those type of things. And so we would talk to Jordan because Juwan and I felt like we had nothing to lose. And <laughs> let's just give it our all and have some great stories to tell our kids about. So, yeah, Jordan, <laughs> oh, he, he would talk from the – if you wanted to talk, he would talk. And, you know, I, I, you know, I had that old school, like, type of mentality that I learned from the OGs, like – you know, MJ, and, you know, we're talking and chopping it up, and... We're getting off the bus, and he's smoking a cigar. <laughs> and inside of a non-smoking building, Jordan's smoking a cigar before the game. Before and the game? Before the game. Yeah. <laughs> with his feet kicked up, smoking a cigar with his uniform on. You know what I mean? You smoking a cigar before the game, man. He's smoking a freaking cigar before the game, as if it's over. So you want to not get off the... Bus. As we're getting off the bus, and he goes, hey, Chris, Juwan, who's going to check me tonight? And he's like, yo, who, who's checking me today? And this is when you're supposed to say, man, shut up, man. We about to, we about to beat y'all. And I think we had beat him that year, once or twice that year, in the regular season. So we, feel, we, we felt like we matched up pretty well against him. But this is the only time I let a teammate down. I feel like I threw a teammate under the bus. And we let him down, <laughs> but we all pointed at Calvin. I, I've always prided myself on being, like, the best teammate. But this night, I let my man down because... We both looked back and said, Calvert got you. And, uh, <laughs> so Calvert Chaney walks on, off the bus after us, and we all look back like, uh, this will be your victim this evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Calvert Chaney. Now I think about it, he didn't say nothing. He was just, you know, he planned it. But <laughs> <laughs> he gave us 55 in a playoff game. Three. Cheney leading the ball. 11. Michael Jordan leading the ball. Weber passed on the three. Michael Jordan is back, as is Dennis Rodman. And Jordan's already off and running. They're going to have to find a way to shut him down. 2 nothing with the uh, series headed uh, to Orlando Tuesday night for game number three. Michael Jordan with 20 points. Tied it, giving up the offensive rebound and stick back to Howard. Jordan. Jordan met by Cheney off the foot. Yes. Weber with 14. Jordan. That's too easy. Well, it's over to tie the series at one. Here's Jordan going. Okay, here's a look at all the different people that have looked at Michael Jordan. It's been mostly Calvert Cheney taking the brunt of Michael's attack. I think it's in the fourth quarter. They make a run. He's going crazy in the fourth quarter, and I'm doing everything. Uh, and he's just making shot after shot after shot. And, and there's only so much you can do. All you can do is just try to slow him down. And uh, he, he makes this, this crazy fadeaway going to the baseline over his left shoulder toward the baseline. And I swear it looked like he was, it was like he was like parallel to the ground on the fadeaway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he makes it, the crowd goes wild, and he, 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 lands on his, he lands on his ass. We had to call a timeout. We yeah, called yeah. timeout. He sprints to the sideline. He sprints to his, to, to his bench. Yeah. During the time I let him know, hey, yeah, yeah, we're going to win this game. We're going to win yeah, this game. Absolutely. And then we come out of the timeout. And then we come out of the timeout, 
and we're standing next to one another. He just he, so actually I'm standing. I think I'm standing there. He comes up next to me. He's like, he's like, Ken, are you tired yet? I'm like, <laughs> I said, am I tired yet? I said, are you tired yet? <laughs> And we, start, we just, and we and we just start laughing. <laughs> so at the time, that was when uh, uh, he had a really really good game. He goes twenty two for 35, 10 for ten from the line. This is a game where Jordan scores fifty five points. He's murdering them the entire game. Jordan again taking it from the basket. It's the Boston Celtics. April of eighty six. Jordan with the win. Yes. Shot clock at seven. But but like I said, he's just uh, everything with him is like I said, it's a mental game. Yeah, it's a mental sure. game, and he's going to beat you mentally too. We were a young team, man. If they would have kept us together. We lost to that Bulls team, mm -hmm. that 72 wins Bulls team, in three games by seven points in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. In one game, they had to hit it at the last second yep. shot. Not that we were going to be that good, right. but Still. that next year, yeah, well, they should have kept us together. Yeah. I never felt at any point, and I watched every second, that he was either hogging the ball or taking bad shots. I was the only one who could get some offense generated, you know, uh, initially. And I just got into that mode, and I couldn't really get, <laughs> couldn't get out of it. I think it's because you got your groove on. <laughs> I, got it, I did. I got, I got in a great rhythm. All right, man. Congratulations on a great game. I think it was like 55, you know, in the playoff. <laughs> <laughs> you know. In the playoff game. Uh, he gave Calvert 55. He didn't give you 55. Uh, he probably gave me about 17 of them, but we uh -huh. just, I mean, I, Calvert looked at us too. It was, it was, it was <laughs> he looked at us so helpless, like, really? Really? You're going to do that to me? So, <laughs> sorry about that, Calvert. Give me your best Michael Jordan story. Michael Jordan story. You guys remember Anthony Peeler? We played against him in the form, and it was uh, my 10th year in the league. So it was my last year with the Lakers at that time. We had drafted a guy, Anthony Peeler. Yes. Okay, so out we of got Missouri, we, right? Out of Missouri. Yeah. So we got Chicago Bulls coming in town, <clears throat> and unfortunately, uh, I got a sprained ankle. So I hurt my ankle. So the trainer's like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to play tonight. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Well, we'll see. You know, let's just wait till game time. You know. And so D did you say fortunately? You unfortunately. Do? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, I enjoy guarding Mike because he was. You know, the one thing I did with Mike is I never got him pissed off. You know. <laughs> <laughs> He make a shot, you say, good shot, Mike. You know, you don't talk trash to him no, so no. he can go off for 60. You know, you, can, you try to kill him with kindness. Yeah. You don't try to talk trash to him. So Chicago's bus is coming down the form. Mm -hmm. They're getting off the bus. We're done with shoot around, and we're walking out, and MJ says, B. Scott, what's going on? I said, man, what's up, MJ? He said, man, I heard you ain't playing tonight. I said, no, I'll spring my ankle. He said, who's guarding me? <laughs> I said, Anthony Peeler. He said, the rookie? I said, Anthony Peeler. He said, oh, 50. <laughs> Shit, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. Hey, Swear no to God. Calls. And so, no hesitation. No hesitation. <laughs> so, I go home, I come back to the game, got my suit on. You know, the players go out to warm up, and then Anthony's coming towards the bench. And I say, Anthony, listen. <laughs> so, I told Anthony Peeler, listen, um, MJ. Uh, uh, he said he's going for 50 tonight. So, what you don't want to do is piss him off. Right. Yeah. He's probably going to go for about 50 tonight on you, so just <laughs> don't don't piss him off, you know, just be cool. Yeah. I said, this is how you guard MJ. I said, don't be all physical and, and, and trying to body him, because he, he's going to go around you, man. Yeah. I said, back up, give him space, dare him to shoot jump shots, challenge him. He make him, he make him. Right. Play off his weakness. And, and it, at the time, it was his jump shot. I got him. I got him. Okay. <laughs> Every time MJ scored, he looked at me on the bench. <laughs> I told you. Well, they, they're getting every bounce. Speaking of clear jump shot, Michael right, Jordan right, now. Right, right. Not only that, but he's he's talking to the guys on the sideline. He ended up with 54. <laughs> Ken Smith and Peeler derail Michael Jordan. Now that is no. a major task. Okay. <laughs> That's your answer there. But the Lakers start doing the job. Michael pulls up just inside three points and he gets his first hoop. Up Michael tonight. is strutting. He's strutting going back. Trying to post them up early here. <laughs> Getting every bounce. Speaking of <laughs> so you know he has a field tonight. Michael Jordan pulls up from the perimeter. 
Shot over Peeler, and Jordan has 14, having a field night. Six seconds to shoot for Chicago. Jordan spinning around Perkins. Gets inside. The basket of ball and the three-point yes. opportunity. Michael already has 16. 6.05 to go in the half. Bulls by four. He knows. Jordan's turn around over three. Get in. It's a five-point Bulls lead. Under a minute to go. Jordan saw that open. Uh, Good night. Open offensive set that they've been running. A lucky bounce is it. Karim high off the rim. Michael yes. Jordan with a double clutch. Michael Jordan for three. For 24. Jordan against Tony Smith. There's the double team. Jordan splits it. Draws the foul. Hits the jumper. He has 32. A chance for 33. Williams and Jordan on the floor. Michael Jordan loves Hollywood. But the good defense and Jordan with the big jam. All of that is well and good, but the reason why they were so successful late is that they only turned the ball over 12 times a game. 33 seconds. Yeah, to back in. Of of Make them take some long jumpers here. <laughs> Six on the shot clock. Jordan! Uh, Stolen uh, by Jordan. Three on the rookie. Nice move. Ten seconds. Here comes Jordan. They'll guard around. Over Eldon Campbell! Yes. Jordan. And Michael has 54 points in this game tonight. So uh, the man could do basically whatever he wanted to do on that basketball court. 54. <laughs> Ooh. What? 54. <laughs> and Mr. Dunn. Byron Scott is out. Byron has trouble. Here comes Michael. Oh, Up. Oh. Oh. Mark it down. And they're standing. Standing here. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Toby said 50. 54. Ooh. I Ooh. love it. That's how bad that boy was. Whoa. Mike was a bad dude. <laughs> Mike was a bad, bad dude. Bad man. And how good were those stories? If you enjoyed them, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And here are two new Michael Jordan videos I think you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Take care.